Okay, we're going through our Bunsen burner pre-activity questions. Now that you've read through the background about Bunsen burners, its flame, and its different parts, let's answer these questions. So which letter in the diagram represents the hottest portion of the Bunsen burner flame? So if we remember, we have our inner cone, which is going to be that light blue color, and then we have our outer cone, which can also be a darker shade of the blue, or sometimes we'll see red and orange at the top too, like a normal typical flame when we think of like a candle burning. So we're gonna see that D is going to be the hottest portion of our flame, that inner cone, because it's right where the gas is coming out for our burner tube. So label the following Bunsen burner parts. You have a word bank. You have your stopcock, collar, burner tube, gas intake, and the base. So let's start with A. A is going to be our burner tube. And we're going to want to make sure that we don't touch our burner tube. It can be hot. B. B is going to be our collar, and we're going to see this is our air intake. If we open it up and we see here an opening, we're going to be adding more air in it, and it's going to have more of that blue inner cone. And if we close it up, it's going to have more of that combustion flame of the yellows and red. The collar is a part that you can touch. Okay, C we see that this is going to be the base of our Bunsen burner, and you want to make sure that it lays flat. Now, technically, you can touch it, but you shouldn't move your Bunsen burner once it's ignited. Now, D, we're going to see, is the dial on the bottom, and remember, we call that our stopcock, um, and we're going to see that that is a spot that we can touch, whereas B lets us know its intensity. We're going to see that the stopcock on the bottom lets us know the height of the flame. And we can adjust it by putting it counterclockwise and clockwise. Now, E must mean that it's our gas intake. And this is what we're going to connect to our rubber tubing to our gas valve, our gas jet that we see at the lab station for it. So this takes us through our pre-activity questions for our Bunsen burner lab. Thank